I tell you guys, my entire world is shook this week on this episode of Budget Beauty Buys. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So if you're new, hey, my name is Kim and every single week I take you guys with me shopping to discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, Nordstrom Rack, and we look for high-end makeup and also drugstore makeup at discounted prices. To a TJ Maxx I haven't been to in quite some time. Again, if you are new, I live in a very large area. We have a ton of shopping where I live and I have a lot of different locations of TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I drove about 20 minutes away and I look over and I saw that they moved the TJ Maxx literally from one parking lot where it used to be to a different parking lot because this is like a really, really big shopping center. It's actually like three shopping centers in one big area. And I was like, oh my gosh. I remember, I think, hearing that they were gonna do that. So then I got really excited because that means it's basically a brand new location which I'm excited for, which makes me so happy because I love taking you guys with me to new store locations and I'm hoping that the makeup section is gonna be good because it is new. You guys are interested to see this brand new location of TJ Maxx. They really must have just opened this like, it has to be like within the last two months. Then please subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the little bell. I upload these videos every single week along with a lot of other fun videos, uh, shopping hauls, beauty, Dollar Tree. And let's head on into this new TJ Maxx. All right guys, here is the new location. It looks very spangly and new and I'm very excited. Um, you can kind of see here in the shopping center, there's Gap, Bath and Body Works, Christmas, there's a CVS. All right guys, as I was walking into the new TJ Maxx, this woman was like, it's not open yet. And I was like, oh man. And I was like, wait, but is the other location open? And she said, yeah, it's still open. And this one, the new one isn't gonna open till the 30th. So I will come back when it opens, I'll probably come back there at the beginning of November. But in the meantime, let's head into the old location. Okay, even though the store is empty, there is a lot of stuff on clearance and then there's 20% off on top. So I'm gonna look and see if I can find anything. Like I even see these cute little... Yeah, Look how many of these e.l.f. Retro Paradise body glows I found. And of course, still seeing the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I found these last week. They're only $9.99. This Clinique Bronzer. This is $12.99. This Honest Lip Powder Blush. This is also a new find. This was a really cool palette. And I'll show you guys the inside. They had these bottles of glitter and then eyeshadows, which I was like, that's really cool. I saw the Smith's Rosebud Trio. This product used to be really popular, then it just kind of like dropped off, but that was $12.99. This is the Aristocast and Revolution powder brush. Very cute. I'm still finding stuff from the Inky list. So I wanted to share these with you guys. A lot of their products have some really big long names. This is the Inky List and the Hiram Collab. This is the Manalake Acid and Rice brand. It also has salicylic acid in it as well. I found a couple of his items last week too. And that is $7.99. This is the Laneige Multi Deep Cleanser. This is $9.99. This is a jelly mask by Milani for $3.49. This is the Madakasoside mask from Inky List. Don't know if I said that right, but took a shot.
and this was $4.99. I also saw that they have these Jaclyn Hill blender brushes on clearance for $3. This brush is actually really good, so I recommend picking it up if you find it on clearance. This is a cool set from Briogeo. It has their Don't Despair Repair, Scalp Revival. It did not have a price, but it's a good way to try out the brand. Okay, then in the clearance section, I found these edible spoons, and they had vanilla and chocolate. And I thought that was so cool, so I ended up buying these because I want to try them in ice cream. These were $4.50. This is an edible spork, which I also thought was so funny. And then they also had more like savory ones that you could have with rice bowls. But like, who doesn't want to eat an edible fork? <laughs> I, have to, I was like, I have to try it out. And apparently when I looked it up, I saw that they were on Shark Tank. I saw these really cute baskets on clearance. I actually got one of these. I did need a basket and I got the bigger one. They also had a smaller one. It was only $1 different. So I was like, I'm just gonna get the bigger one. At my next door, I saw this really pretty Cara Beauty Metamorphosis palette. I just love their eyeshadows. I also was so excited to see the Lisa Frank and Morphe collab eyeshadows. So this is super cute. However, someone had like ruined the palette cause it, I don't know, is that the way it's supposed to look? But it looked like someone had like smudged all the colors. But I was so excited about that. I also saw this 35 Eye Icy Fantasy palette from Morphe. This Laneige Water Sleeping Mask in Lavender. That is $19.99. I also saw the Pixie 24 Carat Eye Elixir. This is a new find this week. It's the Jaclyn Cosmetics Perfecting Concealers, you guys. I think I had heard a lot of negative reviews on these when this came out. This is $6.99, and as we know, Jaclyn's products have been showing up over the past couple months at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and I've been showing you guys everything that I find. So it says it's blendable, blurring. I found a bunch of shades, so here are all the shades that I found. So let me know if you guys are going to try that one out. I also saw the Wet n Wild and Save by the Bell lip glosses, but they came in this like different packaging. So this is $3.99. I saw these really pretty Eyelore half lashes. If you guys hear the cats in the background, Oliver and Gizmo are play fighting. And then I saw this Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation. I found a couple shades, 40WY, 50NN. These were $14.99. <laughs> Oliver and Gizmo are going crazy. I found these cooling face globes. These were $9.99. This really cute set from Glam Glow. Cleansing, mask, and toning. <laughs> and this is $29.99. I found this IT Confidence Inner Cream Moisturizer. This is $24.99. Definitely still a little pricey. I was just excited about this Evian Facial Spray. It's literally one ingredient, which is cool. It's just water, and it comes in the aerosol mist. Would be good for, like, setting your makeup. This is Origins Checks and Balance Face Wash for $14.99. Another shade of the Stay Naked The Fix from Urban Decay. This is the Honest Beauty Brow Gel for $4.99. Glossier Priming Moisturizer, Balance Gel Cream. This is $12.99. I also saw this. I also saw this week they had the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Foundations. I have not tried this, but it was only $4.99. So let me know if you guys have seen this at your store. This is one of my favorite powders. It's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This powder is so beautiful and blurring. So I highly recommend it. It's like a little e.l.f. Earth Day packaging. This is only $3.99. Love it. I use that all the time. This is the Honest Lip Powder Blush in another shade. This is $4.99. I found a bunch of products from Florence by Mills. This is the Mark My Words lip gloss. And here are all the shades that I found. I also found more colors of the Jaclyn Perfecting Concealer. And this isn't even a limited edition launch. It's just her regular line. So Another new Jaclyn find. This is the Blurring Skin Tint. I only found this shade light medium. But I thought this was a really cool product and I was interested to try it. It was $9.99 and I had never heard any reviews of this before. I saw some really cool new hair curling devices. This one is like very reminiscent of the Octocurl 
and I love these heatless curlers. So I was like, I really want to try this out. It was $9.99. You can see here how it works. And I just love these kinds of things, especially if you're trying to avoid heat on your hair. And then they also had it in another color. This next heatless curling kit I thought was really cool because you got so many items in it and it was only like $6.99 so definitely worth it. It even came with a continuous misting spray bottle so if you guys can find this kit pick it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I'm sorry I don't have like a proper outro because I was just out all night filming and stuff for you guys. So um, let me know what you found this week at the stores and that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!